welcome back to my channel. This is Joanne. How are you today? I am coming to you today with the Confessions of a Paper Addict Design Team layout. And this is for Spooky Halloween. So cool. This is the Pumpkin Border Cut File, which is super cute and scary. And then there's also a Ghost Border Cut File, which is really cute. I love it. I backed their little mouse with some black paper, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that later. But I wanted to show you this. This is what the cuff out comes like. And then I made it small, and then I doubled it and welded it together in the middle so it would be a border like this with smaller pumpkins. So you can always alter your cut files. Don't forget that. I am using the Simple Stories... Um, Happy Haunting Collection, which I was fortunate enough to get in my Simple Stories Warehouse Box sale, and I love it because I didn't have any Halloween collections whatsoever. So I'm just going to use a couple of pieces of paper from the collection. I thought this was cute with the black and the orange. This is four and a half by... 12 and these are 12 2 by 12 okay so, and I'm just gonna put one on top and then this in the middle and this in the bottom I took a bunch of the four by threes from the paper and cut those out super cute aren't they so I had printed my pictures in four by three but cut them down a little bit so they would fit on these and this is a chipboard sticker with a little spider I wanted to audition that but it stuck so guess what it's staying there we're gonna have to work around it and I have another one of these look how super cute he is this is my grandson Carter he just turned 12 so this was Halloween last year all right let me see. I have a bunch of ephemera I thought I wanted to use. We'll see if I can get these things in. And then we'll stick it all down. I was going to put this pumpkin border up here. And I am going to do more with that. So we'll do that at the end. I just want to see if everything fits. Maybe I'll put this down here. Or maybe I won't use it at all. We'll see. And then the ghost border I wanted to put down here. And I forgot to back this little guy's mouth right here with black. So let's do that together now. I hope everybody's good. This cut file is so easy to use. You can do it on pattern paper or double it or do an offset. That would be cute, but I printed it on white, obviously, because ghosts are supposed to be people with little sheets on. So, oh, well, you know what? I'll just leave that off because we're going to need it. So I'm just going to back this little guy's mouth. Get the extra glue out of there. And then we're going to do something really cool with their eyes afterwards. So I was thinking about putting it down here like this. Not sure exact placement just yet. But so far, it's really cute, isn't it? I think so. And then, let's see, I don't need that anymore. I've got the sticker sheet, and I've got some ephemera, and a couple pieces of chipboard from this collection, too. So, let's see what we can do here. Maybe we can do, like, a spooky piece of ephemera here. Oh, and look at this eek tag. I can put that in there. And then I do have, excuse me, some white twine that I can bring out of that tag. Use that. I have a couple of these I wanted to kind of stick in because I was thinking maybe they would be a great place for me to stamp my date. Or just use up some of the collection. I've only got a few Halloween photos to do, so I'm going to use as much of this collection as I can. Um, let me see. Maybe I can put this here. Yeah, I don't really like that. So, let's get that back out of there. We're going to do this one together because I have no idea what I'm doing. I love this piece, though. That's one of my favorites, so I'm definitely using that. 
<clears throat> so I want to get that on there. And then here's this little eek. Put that right in there. Something like that. And all treats, no tricks. We'll see. Maybe we can put it down here like this. Because he's all about that candy, that's for sure. And I also have, this that says 31, but I've already got a 31 there, so I'm not going to use that. I kind of just picked out a bunch of stuff that I really liked. Maybe I'll put a circle over here, only because I have one over there. Something like that. Not exact placement. I do have this boo that I thought I was going to use, but I'm not. I have this chip spider web that I think I might definitely use somewhere. And I wonder if I can get this circle in there. Now, kind of loses the effect of the circle. All right. I think that's good so far. Put something like that together. Maybe I'll put this in here somewhere but not right now because the back of it's still sticky because you may notice that my workspace is different because I have every single thing I own packed we were supposed to move tomorrow and that got canceled so I actually went in and busted open some of my boxes because there's no way I'm not scrapbooking for like the next four or five days just not gonna happen and then here's a chipboard. Happy Halloween. And you know what? I'm going to move this because I thought that this would look really cute right there. Oops, I'm out of frame. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. So I'm going to put that back over here. I have my silhouette um, cutting mat cover over here just to hold on to my sticky stuff for me. So we'll put this ephemera that I was going to use over to the side. And maybe put a bat up there and see what we can get in after we get things moving along here. And then this cute sticker sheet. Look at this. We should be able to grab two or three things off this that we can use. Maybe that spider web, piece of candy we can stick in there. Some of these things. I just came for the candy. You can see this collection is perfect for boys and girls because there's a lot of pink stuff and a couple flowers in there. I'm going to save the pink stuff for my great niece's pictures of Halloween. And I don't really think Carter would appreciate the pink, even though he doesn't care. He likes to do all kinds of stuff. He scrapbooks with me and he actually watched my best friend crochet something one day. And he wanted to do it. And he's been making stuff ever since. It's really good. He's so cute. Alright, something like that. So let me go ahead and get this stuff down. I'll be right back. And then we'll finish this up together. I'm going to show you the really cool things I'm going to do. And then we'll talk about it. Okay? Be right back. Okay, guys. I have everything glued down. And there's my surprise. Look at those eyes. I can't stand it. Little googly eyes. Isn't that cute? Oh my god. Look at that little guy. He's cross-eyed. <laughs> so adorable. I love it. So this is how it came out. I did end up changing the papers because I tried mixed media and it came out all wrong. So I just threw that in the garbage. <clears throat> Excuse me. And used different papers. And I'm actually glad that happened because I like this better with the stars and the cobwebs. I think it's more boyish. So I really like it a lot. So one more strip of paper up here, the awesome pumpkin border, the awesome ghost border cut files. Here's my title. I did put a second title up, or, up here just because I thought it needed a little something up on top. And I do like the way that came out as well. Everything's pretty flat, little dimension here and there, but not very much at all. Just really the chipboard is about the only dimension and the little googly eyes. These are so cute. I'll show you. I just keep them in a little jar. This little <clears throat> googly eyes. You can get them at scrapbook.com. I'm sure they're probably at Michael's and Joann's and stuff too. I'm not really sure. And then I used Alt New Anti Gold for my gold splatters. I did go a little crazy with the gold splatters, but I think it came out cute. I like it with the gold splatters. I used some twine that I have from 
Michaels and I made instead of a bow or just a knot, I made it look like it was a noose for Halloween. So I like that. I didn't put any gems on it at all because I thought that the circles interfered with the circles of the eyes. It just looked funny. Now, if I could get to my enamel dots, they're packed away. I might have put black enamel dots on this layout. I might have tried it. I'm not sure if I would have liked it. I might try it once I move and unpack. Sometimes I add things to my layout after the fact. But there you go. Isn't that super cute? Look at that. I love it. And my grandson. And trick or treat. So there you go. I hope you like this. I'm going to do my journaling off camera. And I will leave the Confessions of a Paper Edit Cup File Shop on Etsy in the description box below. And also our Facebook group so you can come join us and have some fun. Virginia's giving away a ton of free cup files at the moment for the month. So come on over and check that out, okay? Happy Halloween, Spookies! Bye-bye!